In this video, I'm going to talk you through how to wash and maintain a ceramic coated car. Firstly, I start by spraying the entire car in a detergent rich blanket of foam. The idea of the foam is to dissolve and suspend the road grime into the foam, consequently making it easy to rinse off. This step is crucial before any contact washing is undertaken, as it helps remove the majority of the dirt. Whilst the foam is working, I rinse the arches and wheels. As it's a cloudy day, I don't have any concern about the water drying onto the paintwork. If it is a sunny day, then I would wash the wheels first, then foam the car, to ensure that it doesn't dry onto the paintwork. I then rinse the door shut with a stream of high pressured water. The shuts are then thoroughly cleaned with a degreaser and a detail brush. While the car is wet, I polish the exhaust tips using a damp microfiber and Brightmax Easy Cut Metal Polish. Now onto the wheels. I liberally spray the wheels with a mild wheel cleaner and then spray the tyres with a degreaser. The tyres are then scrubbed with a stiff brush. I then foam the wheels to aid for lubrication when I clean the wheels. If you have multiple spokes, I always find it useful if I start on the air valve. This way I know exactly where I started. I then use a microfiber towel to help clean behind the spokes and also clean any spots missed by the brush. The inner barrels of the wheels are then cleaned, followed by a rinse.
Now on to washing the exterior of the car. I would recommend a pH neutral shampoo, which in this case is Built Hamber Auto Wash. This is a pure, free rinsing shampoo with no conditioners or waxes, so it won't mask the self cleaning properties of the ceramic coating. As always, I start from the top of the vehicle and work my way down. When washing the lower sections of the car, I dedicate a specific wash mitt for these areas. This helps avoid cross-contaminating the clean wash mitt with the dirt from the lower sections. If you notice that the hydrophobic properties of the coating start to drop off before 12 months, then there might simply be a layer of traffic film. If this is the case, then the car would need to be decontaminated using both a tar and iron remover. On to drying the car. I always start on the glass work as this helps dampen the microfiber and leaves a streak free finish. Furthermore, microfiber towels dry better when they are damp. I would avoid using a chamois lever, as if there is any dirt left on the paintwork from the wash stage, then the chamois lever would drag this around the paintwork, whereas a microfiber towel would absorb the dirt safely. Now the car is dry, I use a maintenance spray which adds a sacrificial layer of protection to the coating. I would recommend topping this product up every 3 months. Using a plush microfiber towel, I spray the maintenance spray onto the towel and directly onto the paintwork. I then evenly spread the product around, flip the towel and buff the product to leave a streak free finish. All of the products that I have used are in the description below. If you have any questions, then please leave me a comment.